Well, it's Christmas Eve, and um, uh, it's uh, about that time to watch Christmas uh, films, if you haven't been doing so already. Um, I have previously, previously said that I um, will, or that my favorite Christmas film is Home Alone, so I... Uh, I believe I will be watching that uh, Christmas Day, um, and I will say another thing um, about that. I did confuse uh, something with the first and second films because I was, you know, talking about the whole series, or at least the first four that I've seen, and um, I said that uh, the Home Alone Two, they were going to. The family was going to Paris, and in the first one they're going to Florida, but uh, yeah, actually it was the other way around. Um, now what, what kind of confused me for a moment, and it had been some time that I had seen Home Alone, because um, I usually watch it yearly. You know, uh, that way it's just really. Around this time of year, I really enjoy watching it. Um, that, and that's just me. Um, I love watching certain films certain times of year, and uh, around Christmas time is when I love to watch Home Alone. So with that in mind, I um, did get confused, and the real reason I got confused is what I was talking about. Uh, the, the, the films, particularly the first two. Uh... There's a Frenchman who is talking to Kevin on the plane in Home Alone 2. And from that, I got confused and I thought, that's what happened. Um, but, you know, I wanted to clear that up in case somebody, you know, may have seen that and thought that wasn't right. I did put a comment in, uh, I did write a comment and pinned it. Uh, so if anyone else comments, it'll be the first one. So. There you go, you know, I acknowledge it there, but on an off chance one, uh, hadn't seen that, uh, I just wanted to address it here. Um, so, that's the kind of what I want to talk about for, um, today, uh, you know, it's Christmas Eve, um, so tomorrow, uh, I'll watch Home Alone, and, uh, I'll also watch... This, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, um, it's a classic, uh, animated special that was made in the 60s, and, um, I just love this. I also love this design, and it's also one with a red case. This is on Blu-ray, so I may get the Blu-ray uh, version also sometime. I think the Blu-ray has a different color, too, now. Um, at the time, uh, this was all I, uh, that was available, and I thought that's fine. Um, also, I like the, the snowy and stuff, and um, the red's fuzzy. Uh, uh, so it's just really nice. Um, nice cover. Special features for this, uh, some featurettes about the rapping, rhyming, and chronicle of the original book to the beloved animated ad adaptation. Um, songs in the key of the Grinch, which is interviews with the composer and vocalist. Who's Who in the Whosville Biography Gallery. Um, Grinch song selection. You can just go to your favorite songs. Um, DVDs, How the Grinch Stole Christmas Special Edition Phil, featurette with Phil Hartman and uh, Grinch Pencil Test. And also includes Horton Hears a Who. Um, I do believe they released Horton Hears a Who on its own DVD uh, as well as in Blu ray. Uh, but I think that's cool. It comes with that also. So I might watch that right after uh, this as well. But uh, I definitely will watch Home Alone. 
uh, and I think just before home I'll watch this. So it's kind of nice, you know. Um, I know many people have different favorite Christmas films. Um, some think it's, you know, Die Hard's the best, which um, I kind of addressed, and I personally don't exactly think it's a Christmas film. I know it takes place on Christmas Eve and all that, and has Christmas stuff around. But, you know, if you took the plot of that film and you put it anywhere else any other day of the year, like, say, 4th of July, because, you know, explosions and fireworks and stuff, so, you know, uh, perhaps people might think if <laughs> police weren't there at the moment, uh, or if somebody happened to be looking at the TV and then all of a sudden an explosion went off, maybe thought, well, it was like a big malfunction or something for their, uh, you know, uh, for fireworks. Um, granted, that might not entirely make total sense, but hey, to somebody who hadn't heard about anything and turned the TV on or it was on and somebody else was watching, and they happened to just look as that happened, it'd be kind of a funny moment, even though it might not make complete sense, but, you know, it was set during the 4th of July. Couldn't get away with it, perhaps, uh, of a joke like that. Um... But, you know, you can also remember, uh, uh, Lethal Weapon takes place around Christmas time, and at the end there's a Christmas dinner with Riggs going to Murtaugh's family, having a family Christmas with him. Um, Batman Returns also takes place during Christmas time. Uh, Gremlins also does. Um, now, some of those films, you know, again, uh, you take the plot out of, you put the plot anywhere else during the year, not around Christmas time, it would still work just as well, you know. You know, obviously Die Hard would still work, uh, Lethal Weapon would, uh, I believe Gremlins would too, though, with how it's, uh, how the Penguin is executed in, um, Batman Returns, I think you kind of need it, need, uh, the film to be... Uh, taking place at least around winter time, so even if it isn't Christmas or Christmas is just like over or something, um, it still work around winter time. So you know January and February is still winter. March technically is, but uh, though March is the beginning of spring and usually it's warming up around March anyway. Um, but you know winter in general, uh, Batman Returns would still work. Even if it wasn't around Christmas time, but you know, with what the plot was, it does work. Like I said, uh, for Christmas being a theme, that film. Um, now, having Home Alone and How the Grinch Stole Christmas being things I'm going to watch Christmas Day, um, you know, tomorrow. I think to later today, uh, as I'm recording this late at night, it'll be uploaded in the morning. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to be watching this, The Last Emperor. Um, it's been some time since I've seen this, um, and as I, uh, as you may know, this was uh, uh, a purchase I got from the Criterion 50% off sale at Barnes & Noble. Uh, I watched Mean Time. And, uh, enjoyed it just as much as I did the first time I saw it. Still a good film. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I would just like to rewatch this. Perhaps I'll talk about it. Uh, sometime later. Maybe not this coming Friday, but perhaps next week, maybe. Um, but yeah. Uh, looking forward to rewatching this. Uh, uh, again, while I haven't seen it in some time, uh, it's good. It's a good film, from what I recall, um, and good cast, good filmmaker. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing uh, for viewing-wise, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. 
also, I guess, uh, what I have to say is, or ask to you is, what will you be watching um, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day? You know, or perhaps you don't really ex entirely watch something on Christmas Eve exactly. Maybe you save that for Christmas Day. You know, it's a special occasion where people, you know, family, friends get together. You, um, you know, it's time of loving each other and coming together. Also about, has to do with also Jesus, you know. Which even if you're not religious, you know, there is historical evidence that Jesus did live and was real. So, you know, honoring a man like that, somebody who uh, professed uh, people being good, and uh, I think that's uh, something people in general want. People want to um, talk about, you know, or want to have good in the world and be kind and everything. Um, though we we do know that doesn't always happen, unfortunately. But, you know, honoring a man on the, that day, uh, that even though he wasn't born on Christmas Day, it's the day that has been chosen to celebrate his, you know, uh, birth. Um, and, uh... I think it would be good to keep that in mind, though, if you're not religious, um, you know, that's fine, but, you know, aside from getting together with family and friends, you know, it isn't all, it's also important to remember the purpose of Christmas, too, which is celebrating that of a, of a man who wanted mankind to be good and you know, come together, um, even though we may not always agree or come together as often as perhaps we should, you know. Christmas Day does seem to bring that out in people, so hopefully you can remember all, we can all remember all that uh, tomorrow, and even today, you know, going into Christmas Day. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. I don't really have anything else. That's what I'll be watching. What will you be watching? Will you be watching anything of the sort of any of the films I've talked about? Will you watch A Christmas Story? Will you watch something else? Maybe you don't want to watch Christmas films. You know, like what I've listed or classics like uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Um, what will you watch? Or, or will you watch anything? You know, maybe you just like to spend time with family, friends, Maybe you just like to relax. Um, but if you will watch something, what what do you like to watch around Christmas time? What's your favorite Christmas film? It'd be interesting to hear. So, I'd be interesting to hear what you have to say. Even though I know pe many people don't comment on my videos. Which is fine. Um, but, you know... If you do want to comment, you may. Um, I'm just curious as to what you like to watch this time of year. Um, but yeah, uh, I believe that's it. I don't have anything else really to say. So until next time, have a good day. Have a good Christmas. Have a good holiday season if you had a Celebrate Hanukkah. Hope your Hanukkah was good. Celebrate Kwanzaa. Hope that's good. Um, yeah. And Happy New Year. Even though that's a, basically a week away. I hope you... Uh, the, the New Year will treat you well. So, till next time. See you all later. And have a good week. Bye.